What's up guys, Cordor here. This week's video is gonna be a good one. Me, Dog Tag Doug, PA Pirate Paul, Just Silver Joe, Jackpot Jeff, Charlie the Heritage Relic Hunter, I hope I didn't forget anybody. We get to this massive old farm field, and I mean massive. We knew there was a colonial road that cut through it at one time. We were pretty sure there was a house or a tavern on this road, we weren't exactly sure where either one of them were. So we spread out and we each walked a different direction, probably for miles it seemed. But once we finally got to the spot and you start hearing square nails and you start finding bits of pottery, oh man, it was on. And then it became a record breaking day for us. What a record, where do you see it? Record breaking for our group, unbelievable day. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end, later. All right, Jess Silver Joe's got himself a coin. We are on the highest ground too, Joe. I mean, look at the view. Yep. It's just gorgeous. Flanked by old colonial farms and houses and, and you know, all around us. But Joe's got himself a coin and might be a weep. I mean, I'm sorry, an Indian? Could be. I don't know, I didn't clean it yet. Looks like an Indian. Yep. Yep, oh, I see it. Indian. I see it from way up here. Is it a greenie? Yep, it's a greenie. I don't know if you're going to get a date off. Nah. Yeah, it looks kind of a little toasty. A little toasty, but... But yeah, you can see the Indian clear as day. And there's the back, one cent. That's a good find. We're, we're actually hoping to find coins, Joe, 100 years older than this. Yes. But even this is probably 1890s, 1880s or so. Heck of a good find, brother. You're on the board. Thank good you, job. Brian. You know, what's funny, Jeff, is is I was just recording me swinging over it. It sounded good, but it didn't sound great. It was choppy, but I was getting a high tone, but then I wouldn't get it every third pass or so. Right. I, I dug down about six inches deep, flipped out a good pile of it in my hand, and laying right there is a big, fat, large scent staring at me in the face. It's very, very thin, Jeff. It's thin, but you still think it's a large scent? Yeah, I don't feel any. I mean, unless the entire shank's gone, I think it's a, I think it's a coin, and this could be an old one. I meant opposed to like an English coin. Well, I said a coin. I don't know what it. I don't know what it is yet. See anything on there? Let me brush it and take a look. It's very thin. If I had to guess, I'd say it's British, but. Let me brush it down and see what it might be. Well, there's my copper and it's hard to see any detail on it. I think it might be Britannia on the back, right down there by my thumb, looks like the shield that rests next to Britannia's throne. So I don't know, I'll have to give it a better cleaning later. This is a dry field cleaning, but I definitely see what looks like the shield in that bottom edge there. And this side, I think I see an image starting to come through, but sometimes when they dry, you'll see them better. But it's a nice old copper, 200 plus years old. So hopefully get some more detail off it later. All right, good find for me. We're gonna try to keep on going. We just got here, we got a long day. Charlie only has half a day, so we're gonna have to hurry up. I'm gonna get a banana in the hole. Hopefully we find some more good stuff. See how it goes, fingers crossed. We back. If, if it's small, at least yours will be a little disappointment. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? I don't know. I think it's just a piece of trash. Oh, you said ooh. <laughs> well, it had shape to it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it does have a shape to it, you're right. Yeah. But I don't think it's anything no. spectacular. It's a, butter, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Probably sounded good. Doug, uh, Doug, Doug. It, it was Doug. nice and small. Wait, that looks like a... Doug, it, it legitimately is a butterfly. You're kidding. Yeah, it's a pin oh. yes, of, it is, of an old butterfly. Oh, wow, that is cool. It's like a silver wash. It too. could be, yeah, I think it is silver wash. It's got to be a pin. I can feel the pin clasp oh, going nice. right across it, right there. Yeah, oh and yeah, now I see it. it. 
and it's a butterfly for sure, Doug. Wow, look at we we just dismissed you know it. Butterflies are free. <laughs> it depends what country they live in. Well, way to go, Doug. That's a nice uh, nice piece of history there. I'm gonna clean it off and see what is underneath. Yeah, I think that's nice. Good job. Thank you. All right, Charlie Harley's got something. The heritage relic hunter. He said he might have some sort of a bell. Oh, I see it, Charlie. Yep. Dry it out just a little bit. Is it a crotal bell you. or? A... I'm not quite sure. I pulled it out, and. Uh, and what did that hit on your machine? It was a 26. Oh, the top's missing. Oh, that four. high. That high. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it's a slave. I think. I think it is too. I think yeah. it is too. I still think they're both awesome. They're equally awesome. Is it, is it Tom back on, material? It's shiny here in the one side. Here, I'll, I'll give it a little spray yeah, if you yeah, want, yeah, just yeah. to see if it looks Tom backy or not. I can't tell. I can't tell either, but... Uh, it's a nice anyway. acorn shape to yeah, it, though. Yeah, I think you found it. So you can use my slimmer. towel if you want. You found it very similar to it <laughs> yeah, last week. Yeah, mine was very ovular. Yours is a little more acorny. Yeah. Is that a word, Charlie? Acorny? You were a teacher. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we will say yes on that one. That's beautiful, yeah. Is. Yeah, right. It's a nice good. acorn shape, and I'm sure the clap, the little uh, clapper is inside. Right. Way to go, Charlie. Yes. Booyah! There's the money shot. There you go. Thank great, you. Great find, brother. Thank you. All right, good find for me, Doug. I mean, uh, All right, thank you. I was coming along, it was a little bit scratchy, a little bit uh, sniffly. I can't think of the word. You know, it didn't sound great, but about three, four inches down, it's a nice old oh, musket yeah. ball. I yeah, mean, it it's is. got good size, and I like the patina on it. It's old. Which to me is an old one. So, uh, hey, Doug, this could have won us our independence. You know what I mean? This one shot. Uh, I think have... he dropped it. <laughs> oh, could have lost us our independence just as easily then. Yeah, the, the bullet's no good if you drop it. No. But uh, hey, it's a good find. It's age, and uh, you got it like that. So, yeah. all yeah. right, in the pouch he goes. Very good. All right, Jackpot Jeff had a good signal. I was filling my hole in. I didn't get over. He started cutting the plug, but hasn't flipped it yet. Let me hear it, Jeff, on your headphones. What number are you getting? 24? 24, 25. I swung over it. Very diggable tone. So let's come in and see what we might have here. It sounded to me like it was on this side of your plug, so. If it's out, I hear it. That's on this side, which would have been on that side. Jeff predicted coin. Well, hopefully it is. We can find some coin. Up oh, it is. It is. Woohoo! Oh, oh, calm down. All oh, right, they moved the dirt. There it is. Doggy! It's a big copper. And I called it. He did call it. Do you hold the guys? That Equinox is 24 on the nose. Come. Can I touch it? <laughs> Go ahead. You can touch it. We tried to get Paul and Joe to come over. They're too far away. Yeah, baby. This is only, is this only your second large yes. copper? Yes. Second large copper ever. Third, no. Third. Third. One was identifiable, one was not. Let's hope he's got two identifiable ones. Awesome. Large Let's take a look. It looks like a large scent. It's thicker than, it's thicker than yours for sure. Yeah. Oh, well, I think I can make something out there. I think it's going to be a us -er. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. No, it's King George II. I can see him. Yep, facing to the right. Yep, I can see his bust. Oh, let me see that, Jeff. My first KG. Can you see the date? Not yet. Well, not yet, but you can clearly see King George facing to the right. Nice job, that thing Jeff. blew my ear balls out. This yeah. side will have... one move off at 24, so I told him. I said, I'm pretty sure I got a coin. I you... heard you. But I know I'm new, so I don't have any kraut yet. You have, you have no... It's, kraut. It's kraut, yeah. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> you have sour kraut. Yeah, I am sour. <laughs> All right, let's crap. clean up a little bit. I see Britannia. I see King George II. Let's give it a little clean up. All right, there's Jeff's coin. A little field brushing, but look at the detail. Jeff, I don't know if you can come around behind me. You might block me with the shade. I'll try to come into you. Stay there. But, I mean, you can see his whole face. Oh, yeah. Wow. His nose. Yep. I his mean, eye. You have a lot of detail on it. It's a really beautiful coin. Awesome. It'll say George of Us. Yeah. Um, you know, V's were, you used look like V's back then, but... That's an amazing amount of detail, two minutes out of the ground, you know, with just a field cleaning with a toothbrush. That thing's gonna clean up real nice. Yeah. And this side, I don't know if you did this side, but you can I see- I didn't Br even touch it. You can see Britannia sitting down. Her head is way up here. She's sitting down on the throne. Her arm is extended out. There'll be a shield at the bottom leaning yep. against her throne. So she's facing this way, right? Yep. yep. Yep, I see it. But this side, just a little field cleaning, absolutely gorgeous. 
Thank you. And we'll uh, we'll definitely get a date off that later. Another first. Well done, man. Way to go, chap. Joe's got something else. You might have found it. We're looking for the old foundation. I thought it was a copper at first. It looks like a copper. If it's in the back, it's got... Oh, I see the shank sticking up. Okay. It's a good size button, Joe. Yeah. Is it a tomback? Could be because it rang up low. It looked like I saw like the raised up tomback on the back of it. Yeah, it's yeah, a tomback. Yeah, I see yeah it. it's a big tomback. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a good coat size tomback, Because yeah, it came up too. real low, like a 13. Yeah, it's a tomback. Yeah, now I can see the raised up part. Yep. Hey, that's going to be some good age, Joe. Now we're talking maybe early 18, late 1700s, and that's what we're hoping for. And it was only maybe an inch deep, Jay. That's great. Well, we might have found it. We've been looking for this old foundation that's been gone for hundreds of years. So you might have stumbled across it. Dog Tag Doug's got a good find right under my coil. Here's it is on my machine. It's small. And it just stops. Yeah. It's about two inches or so. Yeah, mine showed like. Dog three tag, inches. dog. Go ahead, dog. Swing over it. And I'm showing like 28, 29. All right, on the equinox, that is a good signal. Yep. All right, here we go. I think he might have a winner here. Yeah, I think so too. I think he might have a winner. There's a few rocks in here, so, I, you know, the soil's nothing like the sand we've been used to digging lately. No, I agree. You have to actually use the shovel today. Yeah. Uh, got a rock. Yeah, I hear it. But I, there's the big rock. All right, see if you got it in that clump. It's in that it might be. Yep, yep, yep. yep. All right. It still sounds the same. Let's see. Let me see if I see it, Doug. See anything yet? I'm looking. It's going to be really close. You're almost touching it. Let me uh, use my. Watch, you don't hit it. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be very careful with it. All right, so Doug's touching it in this clump. We try to get him behind it. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, I see it, Doug. I see Copper. it. Yeah. Uh, I don't want it. There it is right there, popping yep. out. Oh, wow, well, Dougie. You were right. That yeah. sounded beautiful. It sure did. I'll pick it up and hand it to you. Let's see if I see anything on it before we start cleaning it. It feels thin to me like it's going to be British. Kind of hard to see yeah. any detail yet, but yeah, fresh from the oh, I almost think I see a yeah. circle in the middle, right? Yeah, like in the middle. Yep, what is that? It's a circle, yeah, but I don't recognize that. Wow, I wonder if it's something we never found before, Doug. I've never, I've never seen a coin know. with a circle like that in the middle. You know what I'm thinking, Doug? Maybe Doug. chain scent, chain scent. That's oh, what I'm that thinking. That would be great. All right, let's give this a clean up and come right back. Maybe I'm wrong, but oh, I don't I recognize right. that circle. Well, I heard chain scent. I thought, man, oh man, oh man. It's still, it's a matron head. Yeah. Now that we cleaned it better, you can see the bust and still a great coin. I'm yeah. not trying to sound right. disappointed. No, no. And on the back, we cleaned it enough where you can see one scent right in the middle. So. And what years? The matrons are the earlier ones. The braided's are the newer ones. I think it's a matron because it's thin. Uh -huh. So it would be like uh, 18, I forget the year, like 1820 around there, okay. right up the to classic, like 1839. Right after the yes, right? yeah. I forget the exact dates, yeah. but early 1800s, still 200 year old coin, Doug. Yeah, yeah. No, way to go. Excellent. Thanks. Yeah. All right, Jeff's got a signal over there. You think so? It's a good target. I think it's a little big, but worth digging. And Charlie, right over here, has a beautiful piece of brass that might be a fancy a buggy brake of some There's kind. There's a crotobell. Yeah. I oh, right a, there was your crotobell hole? Yeah. I'm thinking it's a buggy whip. A buggy brake? A bu uh, buggy brake, I'm sorry. Buggy crash. Yeah, I mean, you know what though is, uh, Paul, do they normally have this L piece at the yeah, end? but that might be a, something that, that might help it better, in, you know, down the road. That was an incomprehensible sentence he just said. <laughs> 
Can you repeat that? Hold Can you repeat on. that gibberish? You just... There might be something added later on. Something special. All right, all right, like a, like uh, a new model. Yeah. Yeah. It could be, yeah, the, the new, new improved model. model. But with this hole up there, that's what they would nail it to the wood for. So I think it could be. I mean, you know, I'm no expert on right. colonial buggies, Charlie, but right. I've seen enough of them before where it certainly could be. And if it's not... It's a 200-year-old piece of brass at some capacity. Well, what I can do over this hill here is they have buggies, so I can ask that. Oh, you think so? Do they still use that, that kind of a buggy brake? Uh, yeah, they do. Really? Yeah. yeah. So the, the, the real old conservative plane ones do. The more modern ones have a actual hydraulic brake. Oh, okay. But, but that's what I thought it was as I pulled that out. I, with that have, hole, that, yeah, they always have that distinguishing hole. still wood in here. Yeah, I can see the wood. I think it's a really historic find. So, whether, you know, we'll have to ID it yeah. better later, but... Great piece, Charlie. Yeah, it's always about coins. It's no, oh, it is. No, like it's that. not. It tells a story. Things like that are special. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. So as I was just saying, Jeff had that signal, and he pulled it out, and it's very similar to Charlie's acorn. Acorny. That's the, that's that's what I said. Charlie's was acorn shape. Where'd it go? It's the exact same shape the one Charlie got. That was what, what twelve feet away. Yeah. Oh, buggy crash. Feet. There could be a buggy, buggy crash. crash. So now we got a buggy break, which obviously <laughs> failed because of the new design. <laughs> right. And then they lost all, all his all his sleigh bells. There Let, you go. Let's hope the guy dropped some buttons and stuff around too. Now yours does look Tom back to me. And uh, and inside, is this your first ever bell like this, Jeff? Yep. Inside will be the clapper, and it'll ring beautifully. It's just clogged with dirt. Way to go! Nice piece of history there. Thank you. Can I see that, Jeff? See if it's One. What's he got? I'm, I'm in the club now. <laughs> Joe just got a sleigh bell, and it's another acorn? You know what? As goofy as it sounds, Charlie, yeah. that a buggy may have crashed, it really, <laughs> it really could have happened. It's the exact same shape. Well, my theory is yes, it popped because right over there is a tavern. They, yeah. They took too much brew. They came up through here and they crashed. No such thing. A slightly tipsy <laughs> colonial. A colonial crash. Crash. So way to go there. Wow, three in a row. That's amazing. Thank you, George. That's amazing. No, 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 no. One, two, three. All right, who got the coin, Paul? And Joe's got a good signal. Yeah, I got a good. I don't know what it is yet, but is that a copper? It looks really big, like a button. Maybe it is a copper. No, no, okay, it looked bigger before you touched it. Doug's turned out to be a matron, and for a minute we thought it was a chain scent. Really? The way the dirt was on it, yeah. Wow, it's nice and green, but it's thin. Probably KG. Yeah, it was, it was actually right, 20, right, 20, 20 22. If it is, that would be the oldest coin of the day. Because it was ringing up 20, 22. As we walk over the hill, on the 1860s yeah. Indian, 1820s matron, now maybe a 1750s yeah, King George. Uh, I think they call this a King George II English penny. Oh. There's a harp on the back. Oh, holy. Yeah. Okay. Half cent then. Consider half cent. Half penny, I think they half call penny. it. Half penny. Oh, whoa, Paul. Yeah, I see it. Did you see the harp? Yeah, I, I do I see just, the harp. I was paging through Dude, that's, the that's book beautiful. list, and I came across that, and it was a half penny. I think right. it's called a KG2. All right, I'm going to hand this to Charlie. We're yeah. going to clean it up a little English bit better. Half, uh, Irish half penny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hibernia. Oh, it's just called an Irish half penny. It's not called a hi Hibernia. All right, as Paul's coin is drying, you can really see it clearly. I think it does say Hibernia, Paul, around the top in a half circle. And in the middle, like you said, is the harp. Because I thought all Irish half pennies were Hibernias. Like, I thought that was like an Irish name, but. I can't remember, but then. But I do see Hibernia. The date? date might be two numbers there and two numbers oh, there. Oh, on both sides? Yeah, I think I see. You're right. I see 17 on one side, 8 1 on the other. I think it's 1781. And my glasses are on. So this is as good as my eyes get right now, Paul. When he's done, you can see it better. Yeah, and this side, oh, I could, I can clearly see it, Paul. Big giant King George face. Yeah. Was that made in Ireland then? Is that Irish? Yeah, coin? it says Hibernia on the back. I so, think KG two threes came in like 1775. So. So this maybe, could be a three maybe, then. I don't know, but I if was, I'm reading the date right, but you do have beautiful detail for right out of the ground, you know, yeah. just a brushing of our fingers. Well, we'll know more about it by the time the video comes out. But, man, beautiful coin. Great detail. Way to go, man. Thank you. That's a beauty. So you, you have one already. You have one already. That is fantastic. 
That's a sweet looking coin. Man. It is. That's a good one. Comeback. Yeah. Comeback what? Button. Uh, button. Yeah. All right, Joe's got another one. This is all where we just been finding all the crotal bells. That's beautiful. Same material as the button, as the, uh, the crotal bells. The other one. And Jeff, you got a second one? You said. Joe, you have it yet? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, it's a little small, a little smaller than the other one. We can find two, two yeah, points out yeah. today. Right after Jeff found the first one, he's got a matching one, so he's got two. This is the first one, starting to dry out already. Yep, it's exactly from the same set. Identical. And Paul, I think Paul got one too. Paul just found one, yep. Paul's got, is yours smaller, Paul? No, same size, same size. It's like acorns on Yeah, that's what I called it, an acorn. Yeah, five all in the same area. Some sort of a... Uh, the the whole strap probably came off. Yeah, well, he found the buggy brake. So it was a whole, we think it was a whole accident. <laughs> this was a busy intersection. Oh my lord, there's another one. <laughs> so, right, way to go, man. I never Five that. crotal bells in a 20 oh, fat foot that. area. Yeah. Wow. All right, Jeff's got himself a good find. I'm hitting it in the high 60s, low 70s on my machine. What are you getting, Jeff, a 22? 23, 24. Let me hit it with my machine real quick. 24 was the KG. Yeah, high 60s. Jeff started putting his shovel in. I said, no, wait, let everybody see it. <laughs> it's very shallow, Jeff. One or two inches, but... Oh, let's see what it is. What the heck? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh. I thought I just saw a coin. Yes, you did. What is that? That's a, is that a modern nickel? I see a bunch of lines on it. Lines could be a shield nickel. Long vertical lines, like could, half the size of the coin. But see, a 22 is awfully high for a shield nickel. Oh, wow, look at that. It's got some pretty pretty awesome detail on there. Oh, yeah, it might be a two cent piece, Jeff. You ever find a two cent piece? I guess not. Of course right? not. <laughs> I know it's nothing. <laughs> You're pretty new. <laughs> yeah, it's a two cent piece. Don't talk to him over there. I know. You're, I think he's recording it. It's going to have a big number two on this side, Jeff. Let's give it a little cleanup, and you'll see the big two, and we'll get a better look at it. That's a great find. Thank you. All right, All right Jackpot Jeff earning his name today. He's already got the bucket lister for the Crotal Bell. Uh, you got a bucket lister. You got a coin, tape, didn't you, earlier? Oh, your KG2? My KG2 was my first. And now Jeff's got his first ever... Two cent piece. Two cent piece. And these are like 1860s, 1870s. You know, we're going to try to get a year off it, but you can see the big number two in the wreath there. And this side, you can see the shield and the ribbon. The date would be down here at the bottom. He's going to have to work on it a little bit, but that's a great coin. I've only ever found one two cent piece ever. Really? Yeah, they just elude my coil for whatever reason. Wow. Uh, and it was just last year. Paul's got like a dozen of them. I don't think Joe has any. Joe's still zero on the two centers. 23, 24. So, great find, man. Way to be. Three bucket listers for you on the day. Way to go. The Crotal Bells Club. <laughs> There's been how many Crotal Bells found, Charlie? Twelve, Twelve in this two. little area? Yes. Ten that are perfect. Two that were crushed. In the last 15 minutes. Mine looks good. I mean, I'm in the same area. Mine was really deep, Charlie. About 10 inches. And it popped out of the sidewall. It's another acorn. Oh, that's, nice. That's a nice one. That's not... My, mine's not bent anything. or broken that's either. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're all the same size acorn. Now there's at least thir 13? 13, counting yours now. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll have to figure out how many on the strap. <laughs> yeah, and this, is, this is where crotal bells are us. Was wow, like. that's crazy. They're actually sleigh bells. Yeah, they're, they're all sleigh bells. bells. Keep saying Thank you for clarifying. So all, right. To... all right, I think we're finally done with the crotal bells. We're going to slowly start marching up the field, I think. But look at this. I think it's some kind of record. Let's zoom in. Everybody got at least one. Some multiples. Check these out. Look at that. That's got to be a record. What's the count? I can't even count them all. 16. 16. And uh, I just to, how many are on a strap? Just to keep track, uh, I got one on the left. Joe got one, the second one. Then uh, these four are Paul's. Yep. Yep. Then these Charlie, four are Charlie, Charlie, including the one broken the one. The next five are oh, Charlie. next five yep. is Charlie. The, the and then smiley the, one. That's, that's, oh, that's, that's Doug's. Doug's. Oh, Doug's is the sideways one. Make, make the biggest deal about Dougies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doug just got it as we were lining them up, yeah. and Doug was the I only guy that didn't have one. Doug got one. 
And then Charlie got the last four, so... Jeff got the last four. I'm sorry, Jeff got... Yeah, I don't even remember. Yeah, Jeff got the last four. On, on I his got first five. day using the one. Equinox. But that's yeah. amazing. 17 crotal bells. Oh, that's crazy. Cool. Way to go, everybody. Everybody joined in. Did you see all that stuff we found? Come on, that was crazy. King George II, King George III, two cent pieces, Indians, Paul's beautiful Hibernia, and the relics were flowing, musket balls and pins and brooches and all sorts of cool stuff. Did I mention 19 sleigh bells? That's gotta be some kind of record. Unbelievable day with some of my best friends in the world. Can't ask for much more than that. And even though I mentioned this before, I'm mentioning it again this summer, June 19th and 20th, Dog Tag Doug and I will be in Tishomingo, Oklahoma for the Red Dirt Treasure Shootout. <laughs> That's right, it's gonna be a weekend long metal detecting festival. It's gonna be food trucks and live music and fireworks, but the detecting alone, oh, come on. Two days of natural hunting with prizes given out. There's gonna be six seeded hunts, some of which will be a gold hunt, a silver hunt, a colonial hunt, a civil war hunt, a kid's hunt. Those are normally charging $180 for all six hunts, but if you register right now, mention the quarter hoarder you are getting in for half price. What? Half price? That's right. 90 bucks for all six hunts, including a gold, a silver, and a colonial. That's crazy. You're going to find that much back easily. There's also going to be a Friday night meet and greet where me and Dog Tag Doug are going to be there. And I'm trying to get them to set up a Dog Tag Doug kissing booth. They just think it's going to draw too many people. There'll be information down below the Red Dirt Treasure Shootout, Tishomingo, Oklahoma, this coming June 19th and 20th. I hope you guys can all make it. It's going to be a lot of fun. You might even make yourself into quarter hoarder video. Who doesn't want that? But otherwise, thanks for watching. Happy hunting, everybody, and I will see you on the next one. Later.